Hi. Yeah, today I'm gonna talk a little about the dangers of string copy. Here I have a little program which I wrote in C, and this program will call this function crash uh, with the argument, first argument. As argument, it comes in here into the program. And inside this function crash here, you have a local buffer, which is 64 bytes long. And here is the dangerous function. Copy argument to buffer without any bounds checking. And this is dangerous and I will show you why. Uh, before it exits, it will call this one. Function like this. Compile it with some debug info. That's it. Okay, and uh, now let's run GDB uh, and set argument. And now I'm gonna just put a big. Oh, oh let's run once with a small argument. Okay, it, it exited normally, everything is fine because it was less than 64 bytes. And now set the big argument. Just put a long list of A's here. Ah, that's enough. Start. Now step into the crash function. Now we're gonna run the string copy. Check down here. Uh, you have the stack frames. And now check what happens when I copy this too long list of arguments into buffer. Buffer is here. It's actually gonna overwrite uh, the information, the stack frames, with A. And A is, uh, I think it's 40 something hex. 41 hex, I think. Now let's see what happens. Boom! We overwrote everything with 41 hex with a a a a a a a. So the stack is smashed. Now what will happen when we finish this function? It will be interesting. Okay, it print uh, printed out the address of the buffer. Okay, boom. But now it's something happened here. Let's look at the registers. Um, instruction pointer should be 41. Yes, it is. You try to jump to address 41, 41, 41, 41, which is not a valid address and the program will crash. Segmentation fault. All right. And uh, we could go one step further. As we saw, we could control the address where it jumps to uh, and in this buffer, we could ma actually make it make it jump into this buffer. And in in the this buffer, if, if it only co contains 41, well, it will crash the program because 41 there's no such instruction 41, 41, 41. But if you put valid machine code into buff, well, then that machine code will be executed if you can calculate the address and you know, overwrite we'll the stack with the, first the machine code and then the address. Let's take a closer look here. Um, hello. Yes. Okay. And then hello and put a little Perl trip. First look at the Perl trip. Perl. Execute. And then something. Print F. Print. print let's say A. Times. 80. And then it's 80 A's. Okay, and then if you put that in back ticks, it will execute this f f f command and put um, the output of the command as an argument. So I can r run hello and take, and this will be the argument. A lot of A's. Boom, segmentation fault. But I didn't get a core dump. You can look at the limit. See, ah, it's zero. Set it to unlimited. OK, 
Okay, then run it again. We should get a core dump. Boom, core dumped here. All right, and now if you have the core, you can run gdb hello and put the core in for, and you will see program terminated with segment segment 11 segmentation fault, and you're at 41, 41, 41. Interesting, yeah. So uh, we want to put something else in there now. Hmm, machine code. How can you put machine code in a string? Well, that's called a shell code. And a good place for a shell code is uh, to look in the Metasploit framework. Metasploit framework. So here you can download this um, Metasploit. Now I already done it. So you can see. Metasploit framework payloads. You can list the payloads and the one we want. Well, I'm Linux, GNU Linux now. And we can take, for instance, this one which executes a function. And we can see, okay, it wants one argument cmd which is the command to execute command equals bin s4 execute the command shell ah and here is the string which actually contains machine code to execute this command slash bin slash sh so perl minus e put this inside how did it work with this okay let's remove some quotes here and there remove this quotes too yeah that was all of it I think hmm. execute I want to print it of course yeah and there we now uh, this pull script printed some machine code here which you can only see some of it. Most of them are invisible characters. And put this in back ticks. Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, one back tick there. One back tick there. And hello. So it would put the machine code in the buffer. And then after the buffer, print, we should print the address. times 30 or something well now we know the address it's this well it didn't crash why didn't it crash but more times 300 oh well, now it crashed I core dumped right gdb hello and uh, core yeah, and it carries in 41, 41. And instead of 41, 41, 41, we would like to put in the address. What was it now? This address. Alright. So, well, you, you can go on from here. Instead of A, just print the address instead. And backslash x backslash x backslash x and backslash x but because this is little end and this will actually not work it will get a little bit messed up bff 24 cf 0 if you look at gdb you see it was a little the bytes are a little bit thrown around and that's just because it's a little Indian machine. But throw it around a bit, and if you can't know exactly the address, prepend this with some of this. Backslash x90. That's the machine code for no operation. So you can put a row of no operation, as many as will fit into the buffer. Machine code plus a nop sled, and then address in the end. And there you go. You can just type times 
under something, uh, 10 or something, 12 is divisible by 4, alright, and it, we are, it also printed the address here, so you can experiment a little bit with this part here until you get the address, and it should, but in this case it will, will not jump, the, the, let's see, it will, the address will change, every time around this it will change. That's because that's because I have something in the Linux kernel here. Sys control minus dash a pipe grep randomize. And we see this kernel dot randomize VA space is two. It it will randomize the address to the stack every time around the program. It's just because it should be hard to guess. So I'll change this. Zero. Okay, now it won't randomize. Huh? Okay, W to change it. Bah. Sys C A T L. Now, okay, if I run it a couple of times now, address F F Fed twenty Fed twenty Fed twenty Fed twenty. Okay, now. Now it's easy to guess. So now we, it should be possible here to uh, put in the address and run it until we get the shell. But uh, I leave that as an exercise to you. I've told you uh, how to do it now. And that's